Funny story. So nobody, I've never told anybody like this story. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be shocked at this one. Run it back exclusive. Run it back exclusive. <laughs> the whole villain started in 2012. Okay. <laughs> you guys remember. You too. You guys remember this. There was one day we were at your house. He was, y'all were sleeping. Mm -hmm. And I was on the phone mm -hmm. screaming. Oh, yeah. You remember? Yeah. You were in the washroom? Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Boom, boom. Punch you. I have, I have anger problems. I, ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I got anger problems. This nigga was bad. I'm looking at Percy like. So much understood. What's the world without an enigma? And I was like, man, like, what the fuck is an enigma? So that's the time I like, I looked it up. And then they well, then you heard the other song, Nigma in the booth playing my shit or something. Foreshadowing right now. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. I'm not hardcore, be damn, chill. My fans is listening. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't even start the intro. <laughs> Welcome back to the Running Back Podcast. Yeah. The podcast where you come for the entertainment, stay for the sports. This is a podcast for the culture. And I'm one of your hosts, Percy. Hold up. I'm Bobby Bands. And in the room today, we don't got nobody behind the camera. Yeah, they sleep. They tired. Yeah. We got a... Uh, we got double R in this bitch. Making beats. Making beats yeah. live. Okay. Trying. Trying to. <laughs> what we got? And at the table. Bang, bang, bang. Percy <laughs> 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 looks <laughs> One of the hottest DJs in the city. Facts. Shit. Yeah. He be doing shows in your favorite city. Facts. Right? Am I lying? No, you're not. You travel at me. Traveling a little bit. We tell these people, we go way back, way back, way back. We got DJ Enigma at the table on the Running Back Podcast. Welcome, my brother. Pim, 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 pim. We need it. 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 Like just jump in, like oh, oh just because, yeah, yeah, yeah just jump like that. Like yeah, yeah. it was just like okay, like like for you guys who like who don't know who've been watching the show, like some of the guests, like like JQ, Bugatti, um, not Ozone, you got Ozone, but it's yeah. like I like I kind of help out like behind the, the scenes scene. with like getting artists since I do DJ and I know I meet a lot of you know celebrities and and high profile people. I would just you know try to get them on the show. Of uh, one episode, I was on the couch too, so. Um, but it just wasn't, it's not my type of thing to be in front of the camera. So it's yeah. like, I know, I don't, I don't have a reason to be in front of the camera. So I was like, um, like thankful that you guys like asked me like, yo, like, come on, be on the yeah, show. Yeah. So it's like, uh, I was like, all right, like, I, I'll say some words. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, some right, right. yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I mean, if you have me on Facebook, you know, I talk shit. Uh, yeah. So it's like, like, I'll say it on the mic. I'll say it live. So you don't think I just say it behind you know, on social media. We stand whatever, on what like we that. say here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 now, if y'all don't yeah. know, um, we've been knowing each other for about like 13, I'll say 13 years, 14 years old, we met each other. It's you and Percy probably, yes, 14 years now. I see, we met each other in 2006, it's about to be 2020, so for about 14 years. <laughs> June, yeah, June, <laughs> makes June makes 14 years. Yeah, June makes uh, you and Percy probably been knowing each other since like 20 years probably. Almost, yeah, yeah, 20 yeah, years. About 20 years. Almost 20, 28, yeah. so. Yeah, about 20 years. Playing, playing baseball at Hamlet Park. What's the, what's the record head to head? Uh, <laughs> I think like in the big no, nah, I think I have a better record than you because you've been on some weak ass <laughs> team. <laughs> you weren't winning nothing until you got on Carmelo's team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> until I took over. We beat y'all. I mean, we beat that game. We beat y'all that game. Oh, yeah, y'all blew us out. Who that? Us? Us? I'm trying to remember, like, us, nigga? Like, <laughs> long, story, long, story, long story short, Pers we played against Percy's team, and their coach got kicked out, and Adrian just went to support Percy. Yeah. And, and they Miguel. said, yeah, yeah, Miguel, and they said, oh, like, they need a coach. So he said, oh, okay, I guess I'm coaching. And he was only like 15. <laughs> That was my coaching debut. <laughs> and Carmelo was giving me signs. He was yelling, fuck y'all, to the fucking yeah, yeah, to, to referees. And he's 
literally telling me what to do. <laughs> and then these kids, you know, they already knew their team and all this. I remember that. Was, I, remember, I remember that was one of the games when I was younger where I remember clearly, like, I hit a home run that game. I pitched and I hit Miguel twice. I think I always hit Miguel on two strikes. <laughs> and then Percy got, I had Percy on two strikes and he had like a base hit like, it's like up the middle. Or yeah, something. I never hit you hard. Like if it was hard, it was, it was for a single. Cause I was like that. <laughs> you knew how to pitch to me. Yeah, I was, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you, you was like that. I was like that. I ain't, yeah, ain't going nice. to hold you, but, yeah, was nice. but I, I'm like that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I would just say like you really, like, Percy even Powell. if I got a hit, I would say you won those battles. Percy's power. Getting me to hit a single home. is. People, it's funny. People that I know. Yeah. Damn. But, but excuse me. But people that I know, not, not even that like I played against many years, like people that I knew personally, like call my homies, whatever. Like, I pitched well against them. Yeah, <laughs> like, I guess, like, I was just up to the challenge. Like, I said, I always pitch good against Percy. Uh, Danny Hernandez, I always bring this up, struck him out. <laughs> uh, my brother Macho struck him out. Like, all the and all these, like, guys that I know who, like, are still my friends to this day. And everybody goes You can hold on. it again. You, can hold, you got that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got that one up against them. All of them probably been one time, but I got that, like, one up against them. For sure. That's funny. <laughs> you know who got a one up on me? And this is the funny, you would never even think, like, you would never remember. Giovanni Vega. <laughs> Shout out my nigga Gio struck me out against Norm Grand. Before I went up to bat, we bet ten dollars. We're oh, sophomores. Yeah, remember, against Norm Grand, we you, you, you shot pitched two games. Yeah. Almost the first game was a perfect game, and yeah. the next game they had like One two hit, hits. Two hits. You was it? G. Yeah. yeah. We I remember being a perfect game and a no hitter. Yeah. No. 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 They had one hit. The only hit was uh, coincidentally, we'll talk about him later. Was uh, DJ Unique. Oh, he was on a <laughs> single. He was on that team. Oh, okay. A single. single. A single. Yeah. 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 We'll talk about him later. Yeah, when Gio got me, he won, he won, won and all against me. Struck me out. <laughs> yeah. cast, I think it was like oh, a weak-ass fake slider. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> That's wow. right. Yeah, that year I was going crazy. Baseball, baseball was the times. Baseball, or high school sports, period. Like, yeah. people. If y'all, if y'all don't know why I'm dressed up, it's because we did just have a game. Yeah. And on we business. Just, we won up 50 today. They had games. Yeah. I had practice. practice. Yeah, we all coaches. Yeah. Von Steuben. <laughs> Von Steuben Panthers. Uh, ever since I was young, I always tried to get into Von Steuben, and I'm probably 15 years late, but hey, I'm finally in that there school. You go. <laughs> <laughs> finally made it. That's funny. Coaching, so. coaching the freshman team, and and we got some we got some studs on that on the basketball team. No, y'all work hard. That's one thing I say, bro. I, I seen. I didn't know if it was like a, like a purpose. There was a kid like five foot one when I went to his game last week, guarding Simeon's fucking center, <laughs> like six six. And I'm looking like, damn, did, did Jose the put him on? Like, did Jose put him on there? But the kid's down there, got his legs down. He's working hard. I'm like, all right, maybe it's all purpose. Like, yeah. but no, they all were switching and just I, yeah, switch everything. Yeah, I make them. I'm, I make them work. So yeah. I ain't gonna lie. This is my first time like being. Like we used to coach before, but we were like we were three heads. Yeah. So it's like so this is the first time where this is like my only team, and it's just I'm pressuring them like, like every time. Yeah. You learn when you're by yourself. I miss high school basketball. Like, (laughs) like, like I'd be in practice, and I'd be like, man, like I want to sub in for one of them, (laughs) just to to get in and get some reps in. I caught the ball today, like I'm a, like a loose. They said, I see Coach getting loose, and you heard that somebody <laughs> yeah, said. Go try to get fancy. <laughs> Sometimes trying to get fancy. I did like a spin because the floor was so slippery. I was, and they're like, Coach trying to get fancy. Yeah. Right here, funny, funny story that I think of. So uh, I was like that in high school. I, ain't gonna lie. I had a shot. <laughs> so so if y'all think about it, Steph Curry, his rookie year was 2008, 2009. One of those two. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, think I would draft. So, our sophomore year. Were you 30 already? I was 30 already. <laughs> I was number 30 already. So, I was already 30 already, sophomore year in 2007. So you were shot. Like, so I was they should have say 30 like Enigma. Exactly. I feel Chef you. Enigma with the pop boy. <laughs> I feel you. So, I was like me and Rose. I told my ACL first. I started the Chicago in his track. shoes. In his, in his shoes. shoes. Iman, it was me, Iman, and him. Sure. Chicago legends. Throw me in there. <laughs> I forgot Iman. Bars. Chicago hoop Iman, and legends. Iman from Chicago. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Bars. <laughs> but, save it. Hey, <laughs> save it. Let's throw that in the rap. But you know, I was throwing up crazy shots. 
coach would look at me like, what the going the part? And yeah, stuff I would just go that. in. I, I was looking at you like, what? <laughs> I still do that. When we you have look, open gyms. Shooting? <laughs> there's, a video, there's, a, there's a video, I have it recently, maybe two months ago, my guy Esto, we're at a game. I'll put it up. Like, all right, I'll send it to y'all to put up. I step back. I do a step back. And all you hear in the background was, what the fuck? <laughs> and he goes in and Esto's yeah. like, oh, all right. <laughs> So, yeah, so I feel like I was Steph Curry before Steph Curry. Really I'll be telling people, like, or I don't know if I was telling you too, but I'm like, nigga, we know you can shoot. Like, you ain't got to shoot every time. We don't mind, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but nah, he, he he busted, smacking nah. bitches, Hey, I couldn't complain because I got assists. Like, so, yeah, right now, I I I'm not a shooter no more. I was coming to set a pick. I'm a shooter now. Yeah, we switched roles. Yeah. yeah, I'm a shooter now. Or I'm a passer point guard now. And this is crazy. Like, I was the, like, bigger man forward and right. doing big man stuff and then all of a sudden like five ten years later switch now i'm the point guard no true yeah like, no that is true i would drop back and play safety you get on the and I'm, and I'm like, <laughs> fucking yeah. it <laughs> well, yeah. I, well, I, well that was probably senior year no 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 that's we're talking like no, older like, like turkey bowls pick um, up like football i'm like because you were quicker and stronger that's why the big man yeah. so I'm, and yeah, nigga, I'm and you, you were quicker and up to the, like up to their up strength to the, yeah, yeah. stronger yeah. than them oh, these be- fat motherfuckers <laughs> i'm doing <laughs> that how was i doing them hey no how was i doing them facts like on that d-line bro i was looking like i was fucking them up bro yeah don't talk about football because you know senior year senior year i broke my legs senior year before the first game before i practice and since it was senior year, um, basketball was coming up. And I said, fuck this shit, and took my cast off. Yeah. I think the our last game of the football season, I took my cast off. Because I was like, no, basketball's about to yeah, start. Yeah, we played that last game. I got, the the last game. Got, I got, got a touchdown. Blown out. We got blown out. We got blown out. out. I got a touchdown on the reverse, though. I remember that. Yeah, we were depleted, though. Yeah. Like, I was a return man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> football I think I was I think if I was probably a little bigger because in high school I was like 145 150 but I feel yeah. like if I was a little bigger I probably yeah. could have did something in football yeah, I feel like I, I had the hands or at least like the vision six interceptions in one game so <laughs> so I throw stats out there. <laughs> throw stats out there it's just throwing stats 36 points in basketball we're giving uh, <laughs> the most highlight reel we're gonna right. have to pull out your pop's footage we're going uh, through the timeline get the, bring the, you didn't bring the red sock to match the fucking I didn't bring the, the red, red sock, sock. I should've brought, I should've his, brought red sock? his red sock nigga his red sock I should've brought his shoes too the champs I should've brought the whole picture the whole portrait when we won the championship for baseball yeah, yeah. baseball portrait we got the we got the championship for the basketball joint yeah. is this a podcast or are we catching up we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have a beer talking about we're talking sports <laughs> we're talking sports sports first sports we got Postmates and beer you said what Postmates and beer speaking what? of sports we need some more Luca content no, 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 no. more Luca content Luka. please Luka. this is where you put a picture of Luca's face Somewhere and then his right. stats. So and then uh, his stats. So what, who's you, who do you have your prediction for NBA champions? NBA right now, champions like right, right now, now. Champions. Who do you? You got the Lakers at twenty one. In the in the finals, I I'll take I'll take uh, the Bucks versus Lake, versus Lakers. the Lakers. That sounds nice. Bucks versus Lakers. And well, you think LeBron? You think Giannis could take up down LeBron? No. And KD? <laughs> you don't think so? I think oh, he could, oh, but it's just so? <laughs> I just. You don't think so? The Lakers are really good right now. And Giannis is just like, bro, a like, yeah, like he's a Chico, freak. He's like, a right, like, bro, like, how do you do that? Like, Giannis gonna get when his. you look at his highlights, it's like, bro, like, how do you do that? Not how do you do that. How do you stop that? Like, yeah, yeah, no, it's how do you stop it? Fair. It's not, yeah. It's <laughs> not I, fair. I just saw some, I don't know why. Maybe because they're in first place, they trying to get me to buy some tickets to go to Milwaukee Bucks game or something. I saw that too, bro. On Facebook, I like I don't even get Bulls sponsored. Bucks. I get Milwaukee uh, Bucks. Mine was spon- was a Facebook friend. I got your zip code. I don't know what the fuck. It, I get Milwaukee Bucks sponsored posts, <laughs> and it's all Giannis highlights, and Where? it's just him abusing every single team. He doesn't like how Anthony Davis used to do us Fact, in high school. Same, that's, <laughs> what that's, what like. that's what it looks like. Like a, a grown man playing against kids, yeah. he grabs the ball top and then like drops he takes in, the dribble. That's and what he's Davis dunking it. Twice. Taj Gibson was looking like, "Oh shit, fucking!" And it's Taj Gibson, yeah. Like, right. Taj Gibson, six eight, six nine, and he's still jumping on people like that. Yeah, yeah. we played Anthony Davis in high school. <laughs> yeah, it was not nice. That was that was one. We played him twice. The yeah, first the first game we got the ass. In. Well, the first game I didn't play until the first, the second half. Remember? Yeah, the Maybe that's why I was, I was so pissing blood. 
that's his blood. That's what I didn't have You want to go into that story? Or no, nah, yeah. So, bitch ass niggas tackled me on a fast break when I was I going to lay up the ball. Us. And I fell. And I guess I like hit my kidneys or some shit. And I was going to the hospital that night and I was pissing me off for like two uh, weeks. I did. Remember? remember? So I then I missed that. like two games. But it was like bullshit yeah. games. Huh? Oh, like little bit. Yeah, it was little. Yeah, we blew them out. It was yeah. games that it really didn't matter. But so he was still playing. He's the running huh? point, right? Yeah. No, I was him and Eric, maybe. At the one and two. Yeah. He shot three. He so probably yeah, started yeah. four. And Drew is five. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I think that's <laughs> what the problem would be. I probably missed like one game, maybe. I don't think I missed more than two games. I don't think I missed more than two games. <laughs> but um, yeah, I came in the second half. We were down. And that nigga only had 12 points. Yeah. But he beat the ass. And then second time, he had 46, 26. <laughs> and like it was 13. It was like, I remember. Now I remember it. Yeah, three I, point Because I, I remember it was, uh, I licked it up. And it was like Anthony Davis, 41 and 20. It was like 26. And then my name. 21. 21, yeah. 21 yeah, points, I was it. like, oh. That was it, yeah. I get it. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. 21 points. I ain't get no assists. I ain't get no. AD had uh, all the blocks. He had, he had a triple double that game. Probably. No, he did. He did. In yeah, blocks, in rebounds, and in points. Yeah, he poo pooed your shit a couple remember? times. Remember? <laughs> I will never look at it. I mean, listen, <laughs> take, take, take this as a thought, right? I go to shoot a three. Corner three. Corner three. He's at the block. <laughs> How Zion did last still. year. And how, exactly. How Zion, how Zion did it. How Zion did it. Ran <laughs> and stretched. He blocked my shit, right? Guess who passes the ball to me? The ball's head coach. Going to scout our game. <laughs> For him. For him. Here's the ball, son. Oh, damn. Yeah, you know, you 18. You think every team going to get a chance to scout you. Right. Oh, damn. He just embarrassed me in front of fucking these scouts. <laughs> hey, but, you know, hey, good stuff to him. Blue from Chicago on the Lakers now playing yeah, with LeBron. That's crazy. I think I sent y'all the video yesterday when he, said that he, when was, he predicted that he was going to play with LeBron. LeBron. Yep. So, I mean. It's, yeah, yeah, I watched that interview a couple of times. Like, throughout the years after, after he became, like, the number one prospect in the state. Just, like, watching him because – we yeah. played, and then he did that to us. Yeah. And then, yeah. then the next year, he went bananas. Because he was a year younger than us. And yeah. we hear about this kid from Perspective. We're like, who? Like, we played Perspective. Yeah. Like, yeah. what? Because we he missed two wide-open dunks when we played. Well, when he grew up, like, 10 inches, 9 inches in, like, fucking uh, a year. Junior year. <laughs> but that first year when he walked down, I thought he was their coach. <laughs> <laughs> He's I'm like, like, I'm like, this tall big nigga, nigga, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, yo, dude, look at this tall-ass nigga. I looked, yeah. I'm like, oh, he weak as fuck, though. Yeah, missing dunks, remember? Yeah. He missing dunks in the layup line. Yeah, he, he dunked, no way he dunked yet. somebody in the tip, like in a rebound. Both times. Bo- Julius. Yeah, Julius. Julius or both times. I, didn't put, I was, was sitting there. It was already a timeout, but he had already took off. Uh-huh. And caught it and, and dunked. poked that motherfucker. Like, oh. Oh, shout out to him doing big things. Because yeah. he went to Kentucky after, got his championship there. Probably going to get his championship this year. I think the Sixers might be a little contender, too. I got the Sixers going away. They don't have away. a closer. In the finals, you need that. Who, who? I mean, who do you? I mean, to? It's, it's a half court offense, so you can't dump it down to, to JoJo. Yeah, pick and, pick and drive. Year. Look pick, at the numbers last year. Pick and drive. Uh, set up, set the pick and drive. And I mean, pick ben, and drive. That's what. The, that's what. How the Bucks lost. Ben can be skinny, Giannis. Who? Ben can be look like Not in the play finesse, right? Giannis. Totally off subject. Y'all see Derrick Rose that last shot for the. That's not off subject. We're on basketball. Subject, yeah. We're talking basketball. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. He rolls hit the shit. game winner. I do. Hey, fuck that, yo. Hey, fuck that. Fuck that's what's on some. Awesome. <laughs> D Rose has his own that. Hey, seven <laughs> four, nigga. Seven four. Shout out King D's, all my niggas. Seven four. <laughs> said he wanted to do it. Yes, he did. That's why he wanted to stack that shit. He was on that shit. He was on that shit. On Larry. He was on Larry's ass. He said it. On oh, Larry. Here's a good question that that is really tough right now. All right. Who's who's MVP? Who would you give as MVP this year? Oh, let me, got throw, Ron let me throw something in there first. Like uh, <laughs> uh, D Rose's numbers right now. What are his numbers? Like 18? Or 24. 18? Oh shit. Boy, I just saw a picture, so I, I gotta double check the facts on that though. But the picture <laughs> said it showed his his numbers as uh MVP. Mm-hmm. It was 24 and 6. Like right under seven. And he's at 24 and 8 right now. Nigga. Mm. But those so numbers much. don't get you MVP numbers. No I don't know. Right. James Harden scored 38 again. <laughs> That's not getting you. Yeah. I think he's just trying to show that he can still compete. No, he can. He can. 
Yeah, no. Everybody he, counted him out. Yeah, yeah facts. He was from Chicago. You heard it in the post game interview. He was like, uh, she was like, oh, like how how do you feel right now? He was like, honestly. I was made for this shit. That's yeah, exactly yeah. what he said, like on ESPN or whatever. Excuse my language. Yeah, well, I was made for this. I shit. I was made for this. Yeah. shit. I was like, that's some Chicago real Chicago shit. stuff. Yeah. But it, yeah, so like I said, like there's a bunch of people for like Harden for MVP. You got Anthony Davis and LeBron going for MVP. You got yeah. Luca going for MVP. Giannis. Giannis, of course, is going to go for MVP. We just said it, but okay. So question: If LeBron wins with the Lakers, does that make him better than Jordan? No. He's gonna have four rings, right? No, yeah, yeah. Like, and three with, with like different teams. Different teams. And a lot of them no, good. he's has no. He has four total, right? Just He'll like, have four total. He has yeah. three right now. I think even if he, I think even uh, if he gets more rings than Jordan, like it's still not gonna make him. I well, think but, eventually. But listen to this: if he becomes the number one scorer in NBA history, he will. There's no if to that. Mm-hmm. Unless I don't think so. He has to average. Has, you know how many points he has? Well. He has huh? Twenty-seven, which is. Which is LeBron just showing up for the next for the next four years? What is he now? Number five? Yeah, just past Kobe last year. No, like no he's at number three. Oh, there you go. Stats. Stats. Yeah, he's at number three right now. He's at number three. I don't know. He passed Jordan. No, he passed Jordan at like, like game three this year. Yeah, it's yeah. Will. It's like Will. Then Kobe. No, it's not Will. It's, it's like uh, Will. Kareem. Kareem. It's Kareem. I mean Kareem. Kareem. I'm sorry. Kareem. Kareem. It's a nice gap to the next person. It too. is. Yeah, like <laughs> uh, Kareem. Kareem. Second. Is, I thought it was Kobe. No, Kobe was like Kobe, Kobe is right in front of Mike. Kobe's third. Kareem, Carl, Kobe. Carl Malone. Everybody forgets about Carl. Carl Malone. Pick and roll. Because he never got a ring. That's why. True. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that's uh, exactly LeBron right. is four right now. But how much? How much is he like? How much is he, is he away? Yeah. From Estimate. Number one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he has basically twelve hundred, and Kareem has fifteen. No, so, well, let's see. Yeah, twelve hundred. Right. No, they're like twenty-eight thousand. I like. I'm sorry. I'm like thirty-one. I like uh, thirty-one thousand. Thirty-three thousand, uh-huh. and then Kareem has thirty-eight thousand. So he needs five more thousand. Five more thousand points. And you got to finish this season. Plus, he trying to play at least LeBron to get there. Yeah. Which <laughs> is another six years. Right. So, nah, I'm, I'm telling you, know, you, I'm man. telling you, you guys know that one year, look at t- fucking Tom Brady. Last year, MVP, and then now he's looking like he's 49 years old, my nigga. Yeah, but that's okay. how he is. <laughs> now he's, okay, he's a LeBron, playoff person. LeBron yeah. last year, think about it. LeBron last year looked like he was slowing down. He got all these years, all these yeah, days of rest, right? This is the most days of rest. Room, nigga. This is the most days of rest. <laughs> and you got like. Who are you? I'm trading you. <laughs> and when did you get here? Like, <laughs> you ain't gonna show up either, bro. You gonna you gonna drop 25 just no? But I'm saying I'm not saying. I, I agree that he he he's is slow, slowing yeah, down. Yeah. But he also got a jumper that he didn't have at. at oh, of course, yeah. yeah. Like, no, he can right. shoot from 30. Yeah, he can. This is just crazy how he could go another like five years though. Like, I don't know. I'm betting, I'm betting. I'm betting. He has two more LeBron years. Go. He can lean on two more LeBron, LeBron years. I his, think his last year, three more Carmelo's. Not- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Carmelo in Houston though. <laughs> like he's gonna pass like Vince Carter as like the oldest player in the NBA. Like I feel like that. That Vince Carter fifty. He's forty three. <laughs> forty three. He's still playing. Yeah. 43, he's still dunking. Still going crazy. Yeah, still and he good. just decided like mid year, like all right, I, I quit. I'm done. He quit? No, he no, no, he ain't leaving me. Oh, this year is his he last year. He says this is his last year. Oh, last year. But coming into the season, he was like, no, nah, I feel good. Yeah. And they're like, I don't know if it's my last year or not. And then he said, yeah, it is. Yeah, and the niggas start getting feeling old. <laughs> Richard <laughs> Jefferson said he knew he was going to retire. <laughs> Hilarious. I saw the that shit. the only Knicks team to get, <laughs> to get him. Shit. Or to, him to try to sign him. He really damn near a 4-2 now. He's a 3. You know, you, yeah. you're a 3, you get old, you're a 4. Uh-huh. So, he would have been number facts. 15. Oh, oh, facts. Oh, facts. <laughs> 12 <laughs> power forwards <laughs> on the New York Knicks. Richard Jefferson was that dude in like 2K like 4, though, jumping he away. Was. <laughs> on the Nets. 44. Y'all better ask about Richard Jefferson. He was on the Nets. He was nice. Hey, don't like, make fun of Jay Rich. Like, no chill, Gil. No <laughs> chill, Gil. It's like no chill enigma. No chill, Gil. <laughs> hey, I was mean, no I, chill enigma in high school, my nigga. Like, I, still, I still am. I, I, say, what, I say that around. That's why I be on Facebook. I be talking a lot of shit now on Facebook. Yeah. I got to stay off a couple times. I say whatever I want. I just be talking. 
the people will be mad. One girl told me, I, I should, I, I'm, I'm mad I read this. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I remember that. I was talking shit that day. When I saw it, I was like, ooh. Why he say that? I'm like, damn, what it, like, it was worse yeah, when I wanted I, to say, I, when I really wanted to say. <laughs> and I deleted it. I'm like, nah, it's going to sound yeah, you bad. Had, I say it. <laughs> a couple of other shit. I say it. If, even if it's about a person, I'll say it. And if they comment on it, I'll say, yep, what's for you? Way to, <laughs> way, way to look out and add some comments to it. <laughs> like, like, oh, not, much you got, not much you got interactions. Right, there you go. Like, <laughs> That's you got funny. some interactions. Thanks. Appreciate you. You know, I hear internet beef. You know. <laughs> All right. Hey. Internet beef. I'm going to stand on that shit. Right now. You got any internet beefs? That's what I'm thinking. Right now. You got any industry beefs? In the any street. of these DJs be talking shit? No, <laughs> I got, I got, I got DJs you don't pull up on. Nobody taught you the ropes. Mm. Taught me the ropes. Like <laughs> he trying, he's trying to start to right. Like, what? <laughs> I was, I was instigating. <laughs> Nobody taught you how to DJ. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. no he, to... to... <laughs> he he bringing up all the air shit. <laughs> I, I'm so confused. Right now. He told me last week somebody was trying to say, "Yeah, man, I'm so proud of you. I taught you." Oh! <laughs> He said so one of the DJs be coming up, so I'm like, bro, I'm so proud of you. Well, and he didn't teach me I shit. Taught, <laughs> I taught you, you know, I'm glad you learned everything I taught you. A lot of that shit. Fuck and out of here. He didn't teach me shit. That's like Robert. Robert. He thought he taught me basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, no, nigga, you brought me into the gym. I did everything I said. Once I got in there, it was all me. But that's kind of that's kind of how like <laughs> Let's get into your DJ now. Forget fuck the sports. We're here for you. Yeah, before <laughs> before I started, uh, it was funny. What made you DJ? What was like when it crossed your mind? I know we were going out a lot at that time. No, even do y'all remember sophomore year? Oh, Mr. Kelly's class. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, that was the producing class. Oh, okay. That was when I was trying to learn how to produce first, but it was just more of Mr. Kelly was DJing homecoming yeah. that year. Uh-huh. And I told him, like, I was just interested. So that little thing, like, just had Sparked a little it. trigger. Yeah. And then, um, f- uh, and then actually freshman year, uh, for Marlene's uh, Quince, Quince. Quince, uh her, her stepdad, he was DJing and he taught me, like, little stuff here and there. So I was like, okay. And then I had a little interest in it. So then uh, I really, then I just stopped there. And then I didn't really start getting into it until really like after high school after high school i went out um i went out to to chaos at the time shout out chaos shout out chaos a lot of memories (laughs) at chaos not Vulcan, Vulcan. but um i went there and i ended up seeing a whole bunch of people that i basically grew up with like uh willie that we played baseball the whole v5 yeah the whole v5 they were in v5 at the time but or I think they were. I don't remember. I think they were live scene, live scene, something like that. Yeah. They were, but they were just all like they're like, like I said, Willie, uh, unique, uh, like a whole bunch of people that I haven't seen in a minute. Like, oh yeah. snap! Like, what's up? Like, how y'all been or whatever. So then after that, that's when I started going out a lot, and then that's when I started inviting y'all to go out a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. We so, came back from school. No, no. Yeah, we came back from school. Yeah, that's right. So then we started going out and. Um, I started going out with uh, DJ Unique at the time. And uh, we started going out and I would just like carry his bag or just like go in, like whatever, just, it was really just to have fun, like just yeah, to go yeah, out. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. even trying to DJ at the time. Yeah. And um, niggas was trying to skip lines, bro. That's what we yeah, were Yeah, that's what, that's exactly what we were <laughs> doing. Niggas was skipping <laughs> lines. Hit up Sway, Sway, I'm about to go pick you up. Shout out to Sway. Sway, we about to go get you right now. We about to go get you right now, Sway. Right. So then, oh. so then, uh, so yeah, it was just going to different clubs and just like one day randomly, I just told Unique, like, yo, like I want to DJ. And he DJed a family party of mine. And <laughs> I was, he was like kind of showing me, yeah. but I was trash. Like, yeah. I was trash. I was like, nope. Like, people were looking at me like, people, people, or my cousins and stuff were family at me, like, no, like, like, get your ass off from back there. Like, nah, like, get your ass. Like, yeah, I was like, God, right, whatever. Oh, <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. And then I was like, oh, all right then. Uh, so then later on, I was just like, maybe like, even a few years later, I was like, oh, like, I told him, like, again, like, yo, like, I'm serious. Like, I want to yeah. do it. And he was like, all right, like, this is what you got to do. And 
careful. Right? Yeah, like I bet. <laughs> he said, "This is what you got to do." Kind of like just gave me like a little like starter mm -hmm. intro into DJing, and it was weird because at the time he had like kind of stopped talking to me, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh, like damn, like is he mad that like I want to DJ?" Yes. So then, uh, well, I kind of like skipped stuff, but then later on, it was like. I told him, like, bro, like, what happened? Like, why are you mad? And he was like, oh, no, like, I wanted you to learn on your own. Uh, like, he was in school, too. He, he stopped DJ for a while, didn't he? Kind of to play baseball, but that was yeah. later on. That's kind of, yeah, that's, that was later on. Oh, okay. he, was still, he was still doing oh, his thing. Oh, you're talking early, bro. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He was like, oh, like, I just wanted, I gave you the intro. I just wanted you to learn other stuff by yourself. So I was like, oh, okay. So while I was learning, um, uh, I went to... Uh, Went to the barbershop and I seen uh, my guy Viru. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, Viru, he's a promoter. Uh, hoop with him a few times. And I see him at the barbershop. He was one of like, my homies at the time. And I said, hey, bro, real talk. I'm learning how to DJ. Give me like six months. <laughs> I said, I said, I know you do some dope parties. Give me like six months. Yeah. And like, I think I got it. I, like, I think I'll be ready. And he was just giving me like, oh, all right. <laughs> So it was literally like a few months later, I told him like, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. He was like, all right, like, I'll put you on. Like, I felt like I was clean. No, actually, even way before that, when I was learning how to DJ, we had the show at uh, Sub T. We had the show at Sub T. This is Mask Enigma. This is Mask Enigma. Yeah, no, this wasn't Mask Enigma. Yeah, yeah, I was still we learning. Had, we had Wonder, we had Sub T, we had Wonder Bar. No, but this was, this was before I started all that. So we had a party at Sub Team. I was still learning, and I somebody didn't show up. <laughs> he taught you everything. I made it. <laughs> there was. You're welcome. <laughs> there was. I don't know who you had to DJ at the time, but they couldn't make it, or they weren't on time. So he, you looked at me, and you were like, "I guess you gotta go on." And I was like, "I was like, uh, I, uh, I guess." And at the time, I think I only had about like fifty songs, like on, on my laptop at the time. So I was like, "Oh, okay." So, so I did that. So that was like the first time, like the first show that I did, and not a lot of people went because that was when they were on the bullshit that we couldn't have the shit upstairs. Yeah. Oh, sub team. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that was like. Oh yeah, I remember now. I remember yeah. Now. So that was kind of like, and that and that place was cracking. There was people lined up at that yeah. time. So, yep. so fuck that stuff. I don't know. You still fuck with that, but yeah. We'll, we'll be back there. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back there. So um, that was like my first time actually DJing, and I, I still wasn't ready. So I finally got ready, got on with um, with Viru, and I was like, yeah, like I, I think I'm ready. He was like, guy, right, we'll put you on Monday Night Football at Lincoln House. That's let me, right. Let me talk, he was like, yeah. let me talk. Let me talk nice to, to my, pull up. Yeah, he yeah. was like, let me talk to my partner, uh, Frankie uh, Mayu. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. I already Mayu was already a big name in Chicago. So I was like, oh, snap, like yeah. Mayu. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Mayu, <laughs> oh, snap. Mayu Entertainment, right? That's what it is. Yeah. So, um, so we had the, uh, they had the Monday Night Football at, at Lincoln House, and I was, I was, I felt like I was good. Yeah. Like they started to book me more. Uh, is this before or after Sickle Mom? Way before Sickle Mom. Is it? You were learning already, how to DJ. I was learning point. how to DJ. Yeah. It was way before. No, that. but even when you were with Sickle Mom, it was still fresh. You were like six months in. But he was masked still. at that point too, right? That was yeah, after I the was. mask, right? No, this that was, was This was before Sickle the mask, and then the mask came after, after I got it. comfortable. After I got comfortable. I'm talking about Sickle shit. So it I was, was still. It was mask, still right? Well, I still had mask at Sickle Mom. But you, yeah, he was masked. Yeah, so. Y'all jumping. Y'all jumping. I'm, jumping. Jumping. Cool. Cool. No, no, no. jumping. I'm trying to get the order because I'm, I'm like, yeah, are we at the mask yet? No. Let me know when we get to the mask. Let me know when we get to the mask. Chapter, baby. That, that, is, that, chapter. that is. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, he was like, oh, that, yeah, you're dope or whatever. And I was like, cool. So once they started booking me more, uh, other people started booking me more like um, – uh, I forgot who, who, book, who had booked me at. I think Sway or Willie or one of them had booked me like at Tantric, uh -huh. uh, which is, which was now like the air spa place on Chicago and Halstead now. Is it air Tantric, spa? the air spa. Oh no! Oh well, that's different. Yeah. The place I told you about. But yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's on Chicago and Halstead. Yeah. And that was like I was still getting into it, so I was like, man, like 
I want to be different. I always, I always had this like love or like not love, but like feeling that like man, I just want to be different. Yeah, stand out. Yeah, I want to stand out. I want to be different. And uh, actually, that's how my, I got the name. But I just want to be. I want to be different. So um, I was watching American Ninja Warrior, <laughs> and there is this. Uh, uh, ninja. Ninja, ninja, yeah, Ninja at the time. His name was uh, I want to say Flip Flip Rodriguez. <clears throat> Shout out Rodriguez. And <laughs> and every time we in the building. Every time he before he ran the course, he put the mask on, uh-huh. and I always thought like, man, that's, that's kind of that was kind of cool. Yeah. Like, and it was he wore it because it was like uh, his mask for like getting into battle type of thing like he was oh, he was warrior. ready yeah uh, like he put his mask on to get ready Ray Mysterio kind of, yeah. Yeah, kind of. Ray Mysterio shit. Kind of. so I did the like exact same thing like I took I took the same mask he had cut it and um he always had the same design on it so I started putting different de- I had different time. designs yeah every time on it like I had like a Spider-Man theme web theme I had a Joker themed one so he pumped the bricks and <laughs> yeah the skull one right? like the skull like one was one. dope yeah how did you decide what designs was it like based on the outfit based on the venue based on no, the vibe no it was just he almost had a different mask every time he was DJing yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm saying so like how you no it was, it was just ideas that I that I had like, I would, yeah, yeah, would give it, one of, yeah one of my homies uh, at the, uh, that I knew at the time he was just he was an artist, so I would just give it to him and be like, yo, I want this. Can you do it? And he'll just, um, he'll just draw it up. So like, you give him, like, free writing? I'll give him, like, yeah, I'll cut it. Want. Yeah, I'll cut it. And then I'll just give it to him. And I'll say, like, this crazy. is what I want. Yeah, I want this. Venom. I want Spider-Man. Yeah. I want. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly how it was. So now we're at the mask. So now we're at the mask. Hey, so hey, hey, hey here. when you're editing, put chapter two. <laughs> the mask. <laughs> so the people who are, quest, who are thinking, questioning the mask in the beginning stages of my uh, my DJ career, I wore a mask because so so my the mask came from my name as well. Like I'm DJ Enigma. Uh, everybody knows I'm a huge wrestling fan. Huge ass wrestling fan. Yeah. Um, and at the time. Uh, Jeff Hardy was my favorite wrestler. Mm. And every time he came out, it was like the charismatic enigma, the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. Um, so I was like, what the fuck does enigma mean? Yeah. But I, I didn't really care about it at the time. I was like, oh, Jeff Hardy's out. Whatever. Yeah. Right. And that was around the same time, six foot, seven foot came out uh, by Lil so, Wayne. Mm-hmm. And, you know. My like charisma. Fuck it with a spritz or whatever. Yeah. So misunderstood, what's the world without um, enigma? And I was like, man, like, what the fuck? What is Enigma? So that's the time I like I looked it up, and Enigma. And then you heard the other song, Enigma in the booth playing my shit or something. <laughs> it's, it's Foreshadowing, right now. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Yo, Foreshadowing. It's crazy because I remember this because he used to, he would come to me like, man, I want to take the acapella and I want to chop it up to what is the world without? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember he was telling me like, how can we do this? How can we do yeah. this? Yeah. I remember telling yeah. you you should do it. He was like, I, I am. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Yeah. It just never happened. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> so yeah, so I, look, so I looked it up. So. So when you <laughs> so when you look it up, uh, enigma it means um, a puzzle or something that people can't figure out, something that people don't understand. And I just felt like that was me, like the way I seen, the way I looked at certain situations, and when would, when people would conversate with me, it would be a serious conversation. It would be like, damn, I don't expect that from you. yeah, like yeah. damn, like and, that's it, true. And you know what's so crazy? I remember telling you this because when he first came out, yeah. Everyone was like, what the fuck? He was getting booked at all these, like, all the all the big, like, clubs. You know, most of the time when people say they decide to DJ, yeah. bro, they doing quinceañeras, they doing their mom's parties. <laughs> yeah, they doing everything when, parties. You, when you do shit like that. It's, yeah. it's very big. You might level. get a wedding. Yeah. Yeah. He came in, like, straight into the club. The same. Get, yeah, like, opening up with the hottest DJs in the city. Yeah. And it was like confusing to people it was I and t- I told them like yo the word of enigma, the enigma like that's the enigma like yeah. you coming into this industry and then and then at the same time with the sickle mob sickle mob was one of the hottest artists in the city yeah. probably the, art- at hottest, time, they were the, the hottest. hottest artist in the city yeah. and he's going on tour with them they had the Hottest song, man. And he's and, and they're like, "How'd you become Sickle Mob's DJ?" He, I just responded to them, right? Was it, it Twitter was t- or some t- shit? Yeah, so it was just Twitter. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so it was actually on Twitter. Um, uh, one of my girls, um, her name's Abby. Shout out, Abby. She was in. 
no, 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 all of them. Yeah, I know each all different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the name, name, name of porn. Right. <laughs> As a Phoenix. No, it's from Phoenix. I'm saying no. in front of Phoenix. No. That's, that's Abby, 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 Abby. Abby. See, that's, I know so, so that's Abby. No. Abby, 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 Abby's here. Hilarious. Abby's here in Chicago. Uh, I know Abby. Abby's, Abby. Abby's here in Chicago. So at the time, she was in one of their videos. Mm -hmm. So I show love uh, to her and them on Twitter, and I was like, oh, just like shout out Sick Mom, shout out my girl Abby for being in the video. They like retweeted it, responded, oh, like thanks for showing love, whatever. And like, like literally, it was just for shits and giggles. I was just like, "Yo, you ever need a DJ? DJ let me know." Yeah. And they were like, "Oh, really?" And it was like, "Yeah, like just Yo, come." That meet clouded up. you up so crazy yeah, at and that I was time. Like, oh, Everybody come meet up. was literally. Yeah, so I was the like, "Whole city was bopping." Yes, yeah, so pretty much. Yeah, that's when that's when Bop, sick of mob music. and the bopping thing was hot, and and that was the around the whole time Chicago music was really. Yeah, that's twenty fifteen. I was working. I was working at the school. It was like twenty, like twenty thirteen to twenty fifteen. Yeah, that was twenty thirteen. Sure. Was it? Yeah. Twenty thirteen. Yeah. Because you were still in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you were still in high school, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so yeah, so that was around the time Chicago. You had King Louis coming up. Still, yeah. uh, you had Dirk still coming up. You had Sickle Mob coming up. Cat Kitty got bands coming up. You had uh, uh, Spenzo, Spenzo uh, coming up. Uh, Stunt Taylor, Stunt Taylor, Chemo, yeah. like all these people, and like Reese, like yeah, yeah, yeah. all these people, like coming up out of Chicago, like not just in Chicago, but their stuff was getting played worldwide. So, um, so they hit me up, and I was like, yeah. So I went to. I want to remember we were out west. Yeah, bro. I said I didn't want to go by myself. Yeah. I said I didn't want to go by myself <laughs> out west. We was on Chicago. Was on Chicago. Chicago. Remember Chicago. Told me. Uh, well, yeah. Bro, we was in a trap. <laughs> Dead ass. I yeah. swear to God, we was in a trap. It looked like an abandoned building. Yeah. But when you walked inside, everything was brand new. It yeah. was a studio and everything was brand yeah. new. They weren't going to put the money on the outside. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> we was on the porch. They, we, we go to the back porch. We open the door. Nigga, the whole, the whole yard's abandoned. Mm -hmm. The stairs look like they're falling apart. You go inside. Like, there's a studio on the front. Yeah. This was, dude was there. Uh, Concord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, was it? Encore, Encore. Encore. yeah. He shout, was shout out Encore. Yeah, he was making beats with them. Oh, um, we was legit in a trap. Yeah. So they like, all right, DJ. Yeah. So <laughs> I DJ'd a few songs and and they were just like, Yep, like you're dope. Got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, cool. So I remember the first show we did was we opened up for Juvenile at Reggie's. Yeah, remember, I want you too. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he went. You were yeah, yeah. Oreo was DJ. Remember DJ Oreo? Oreo was DJ. DJ Oreo was DJ. Was that video popped up on my timeline. For real? Because I think it, it was like a November thing. I think it happened. I forgot around the time it was. Yeah. But it was it was a show at Reggie's. My man's just casually name dropped Juvenile. I'm just gonna throw that out. <laughs> <laughs> casually yeah. just name dropped yeah. Juvenile. So we op we opened up for Juv Juvenile at Reggie's and it was, it was, it was and it was a and it was a packed it was a packed house. And yeah, I, I was packed. I was still wearing the mask at the time and you know and I remember turning up the crowd and, and I it was remember the song fun. you played. You and remember? I, I played Wifer and Yo Gotti. It wasn't Yo Gotti. Yes it was. I told you, you play Yo Gotti before this was it the video is somewhere. It's Yo Gotti. It the, was, um, um, what was this song? Um, around that time? No. I'm going to tell you exactly what the song is. Go ahead. Yeah, so yeah. So I'm tell you, like, cause I, I remember this conversation. He's like, man, I got to It was, I played Wifer and cut her off. Cut that bitch off. I it think. sounded like around You Don't Even Know time. Was that, that your guy? It wasn't you. Nah, no, well, hold on. Go ahead. So, uh, so yeah, so we opened up. just make me feel drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you so, know what yeah. <laughs> So we had, we had opened up, at, we had opened up at Reggie's uh, for Juvenile and like that was a big, that was my big show and that was my first show and it was like, it went well. So it was funny. So, but then after that, I was trying to get a picture with Juvie and he said no. So that kind of killed. Like, oh, did it? That kind of killed like, the feeling, not the feeling, but it's like I'm never asking another artist for a picture again. Uh, yeah. That was it. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. So then, uh, so after that, we had a, a lot of big show. We had the the dub show uh, car tour. The first one we did was in Atlanta. We opened up. No, I lied. The first one was here. The first dub show was here. And uh, we opened Future. up for. All right. No, no, that wasn't the dub show. Uh -huh. We opened up for French Montana, Jeremiah, and. Um, there was somebody else. Like, French Montana and Jeremiah were like the headliners, though. And we opened up for them here. And so that was like pretty dope. And that, that um, yeah, crowd yeah. was huge. Yeah, yo. Uh, no, so no, yeah, yeah, yo. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was five years ago. Yeah, yeah, that was five years ago. So uh, he was on that shit. Yeah, so that that was the dub show here in Chicago, and then another dub show we had in Arizona. That's where we opened up for. It was like I think it was no oh, in Atlanta, and we opened up for Lil Scrappy, Tech Nine, and. Uh, I forgot who else at the time. And then we had Just another show on Phoenix. dropping legends. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling you, it was so crazy that he was doing this like within his first year of DJing. Yeah, and every, think about it from the outside looking in. Everybody's like, yo, what the fuck? I did have a lot of people mad at me. Like, no, that I know for a fact. I know for a fact. Not even like, not even like awesome. the nigga, No, the niggas that used to get him in the club yeah. is now not even getting booked in the clubs that he's at. Like, that's dead ass. So niggas are like, damn, how the fuck? Yeah, this yo. nigga just... Oh, it was a enigma, I'm telling yeah. you. He basically skipped a step. He skipped the Pretty whole much. step, Joe. He skipped the whole step. Yeah, Jumped straight into... Yeah. So then, yeah. So then uh, we opened up... Like, we had a bunch of shows after that. And we ended up... I ended up opening for, for Future, for... Uh, we had shows with... All Chicago shows with Katie Got Bands, King... Remember? King... <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to bring it up so bad. <laughs> Yo, you can tell it. You can tell it. So we have a show with Katie Got Bands, and I'm DJing, and I think Sickle Molly was up next. And Katie Got Bands got off, or she was there. She, she was there with, She was King, King Louie and her. She was there with King Louie, yeah. Katie. It's Kate, and she yeah. was also with so, his body. So let's say, so this is, so this is, this is me DJing. I'm, I'm Bobby, and this is, Katie, Katie. We, we were literally this close, <laughs> and she's just like going to his ear, like, hey, like, just yeah, like, like saying some yeah. stuff, like trying to holler at him. And, and I'm you know, like, yo, <laughs> I, told, I was like, yo, Katie got Katie got bands, <laughs> get up, <on, laughs> yo, this bitch look like a mix. <laughs> You gonna uh, watch this episode oh, one day? Uh, they be clowning hey, off. Hey, I'm they, about to leave. This is a good crazy. Uh, <laughs> she gonna watch this episode. <laughs> hey, they, they be clowning Katie, bro. Oh, man. So they you know, fuck. So they they Katie got bands for each and Bobby Bands come holler at me, girl. We make the hottest song in the city. <laughs> so yeah, we had a lot of a lot of shows with them, and then uh, did a South by Southwest in uh, in Austin, and that was dope. That's when I first uh, that's when I first met Chance the rapper because. That's when he had, I think, as when Acid Rain had came out, That's a rap, and rap. and South by Southwest was like so such a dope experience because it, it's pretty much just like let's say like like in Chicago like the Porter, like not Puerto Festival like the um, like Lala type shit. No, it was like a uh, like Bandera. Oh, okay, okay. Like it was, it was a yeah. it's a strip, and everybody's on that strip. I think it was Sixth Street. Everybody's on that strip and literally like chances walking. Everybody I mean, he wasn't, he, he was big. He was really well known. Like he had a big ass crowd following him, but he, yeah. he wasn't as big as he was now. Not like, Grammy winning chance. Right, yeah. <laughs> so people were, he's just walking down the street casually. People were following him and we had a show in like one of the bars. So like, it's like it was a strip and like each bar had different, different shows. Music. So like we would have a show at this bar and then, then like the next block we had a show at another bar. So Chance pulls up to one of our shows. That's when, that's when I first had met Chance, said what's up to him. And yeah, and I mean South by Southwest was another big show that I was, I was blessed to be a part of. You did a bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah, being, like, being in the studio with them and uh, in all these different places and just like building up a name was really, um, it was really a, a blessing to me to to do all that in in such a short time and to me like I don't I'm not the type to like fold under pressure yeah. or something like that so it was just like all right like it was my I time. got this yeah my like time. I got this so um I eventually took off the mask I was like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. so yeah so I eventually took what off. was the from now you go from the villain Enigma right yeah or, oh so speaking of villains I had brought you some brought you some gifts okay. <laughs> That's villain hats. Bam. Some Word. exclusive villain okay. hats. Shout out, my nigga. Shout out. Villain. I mean, looking yeah. like Tiger Woods. I <laughs> <laughs> Tiger, Tiger. Oh, hey, Bobby Woods. Bobby, Bobby Woods. Hey, Bobby Shout out Indio. Shout out Indio. Bobby 
happy boy. <laughs> we just got signed, B. <laughs> my, my hair don't come in standard size, B. I got to adjust. Oh, that's fine. We can put right. this one right here. Right. We oh, no. Hey, no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I should have brought it there. I just got to adjust my shirt. I got a little fro today. Yeah. Needs an extra strap. Needs an extra strap. Needs an extra inch on the strap. We got inches. Yeah, sorry. Balls. <laughs> hey, you gotta pause the whole thing. Pause the whole thing. <laughs> but we do got inches though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why down. does every show get such a Double down on it. For the <laughs> yeah, well, like, There be no females here too. So it's kind of like, we mean, yeah, that's what it is. They it's watch fine. They, yeah, you know, they watch. Okay. So yeah, so the mask had came off. Um, I eventually uh, split ways with Sickle Mob and um, I started doing my own thing. Like, um, like it wasn't no like bad beef towards them. It wasn't like bad vibes. It was just I was getting so much more bookings without them that I couldn't make it to their shows anymore because I was getting booked at other clubs so much. And it really it wasn't even because of their name. Like It was just more because like when I was getting booked at like high end clubs like like Dolphin yeah. at the time and like all these other clubs, I took advantage of those opportunities and, and showed out like, yo, like I could do this stuff because at the oh, time, <laughs> get on the stage and show your ass, right? Because at the time, because at the time, uh, well, still now, like I still, like there's still like these big names like Sean Mac, right. Ozone, uh, uh, Protege, uh, used to, uh, Mustafa Rocks, V-Dub, like all these like big, names that you hear on the radio in the club like I was still listening to nonstop metro yeah. and I was just like man like I'm on flyers like I'm doing stuff with with these people now like metro and nonstop they were the first DJs I ever listened to yeah. growing up and I was like wow like it's a blessing to be able to yeah. to, to, to now to now yeah. right now and I still I'm still not worthy but to now they know who I am they hit me up there's plenty of times where mac nonstop Metro have texted me like just random like yo bro like I'm so proud of you yeah, and right. it's like yo like it's literally like if Jordan goes to LeBron like yo good shit yeah, like, yeah. it's literally like that like whoa like these people I look up to these legends these Chicago DJ the legends long time. are you know saying like what's up like take notice of me so I was really I'm really like humble uh, about that so then uh as years went on till now, um, funny story. So nobody, I've never told anybody like this story. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be shocked at this one. Run it back exclusive. <laughs> back exclusive. The whole villain started in 2012. Okay. You guys remember, you too, you guys remember this. There was one day we were at your house. He was, y'all were sleeping. And I was on the phone, mm -hmm. screaming. Oh, yeah. You remember? Yeah. Yeah. You were in the washroom? Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Boom, boom. Punch you. I have, I have anger problems. I, ain't gonna lie. I got anger problems. <laughs> this nigga was bad. I'm looking at Percy like, so, this nigga snapped me right had him. Remember? Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I, had anger, I, had, I had anger problems. I was snapping. So at the time, I was dating somebody. And it was just, it was, I want to say toxic. But it wasn't it wasn't good for me. Yeah, not healthy. Yeah, so um, I had to get out of that. So so refill, 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 refill. Thanks. So, so uh, at the time, damn. Okay. So um, at the time, me and you, me and you were alone, and we had like a deep conversation. Like, bro, like. You gotta stop caring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I probably tell everybody that. Like, bro, like, <laughs> like you really. Some people gotta stop caring. You gotta stop caring. Like you got, you really gotta stop caring. Like, because like I was a very emotional, like person. Like I would cry at the dumbest things. Yeah. I would be mad at the dumbest things, and you were telling me, "All right, bro, like you have to like not care, like treat people, like yeah, yeah. like people take it. Yeah, you're a nice person. People you take gotta, advantage of you. Yeah, us, people man. take advantage. Like be." Uh, uh, stay be mean, your, yeah. yeah stay like, on your toes. so I was like, all right, fine. So when I started doing that, a lot of more people started to notice it and be like, oh shit! And like, I started to like get what I wanted just because like I was an yeah. asshole. Like, yeah. I was like, oh snap! Like, it really started to work. So then, 
It's just welcome. kinda <laughs> outside. You're welcome. Pause, right? I noticed it, right? But I didn't know y'all had that conversation. Yeah. So oh, I'm just man. like, so to me, well no, I guess it's oh, it was twenty twelve, you said, right? Around that it was around time. that time. It was literally like we were at the crib. I think it was my birthday. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> it was my yeah. birthday. We were at my house and yeah. I, we, I, we were at his house and it was just like Yo, happy birthday. And then, like, some stuff happened. Right. We were like, fuck it, let's go get a bottle of Hennessy. Yeah, right. We got the bottle yeah. of Hennessy. We went to the beach. Yep, yep. Like, it was just like a nigga's birthday. Like, it was just me and him, yeah, like, yeah. at the beach, like, with the bottle of Hennessy. Like, fuck it, like, let's go so, take this drive to the beach. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was fun. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Not knowing that y'all had that conversation, I did notice it in you. Especially, yeah. like, once you were established. In, in the field that you're in now, when you're in the DJ field. Damn, I got burp. Um, <laughs> But I do see how how it can have a positive impact on on what you're doing. Though. Damn, grab my homie's cut. Damn, I'm <laughs> sitting there choking. Nigga, <laughs> my shit was spilled. I was spilled to the top. You know, you gotta sip it a little bit. I'm trying to still make sure this, this this show goes. I can't even get three words out. <laughs> so yeah, so around, so around that time, like I was just. I started being like mean or, or and started being straightforward with people. And that's what it is. It wasn't even like mean. mean just like just, yeah. Yeah. Straight, straightforward. Yeah, yeah. Just, I was like, fine. I started yeah. having no filter. And like I started, I was happy. I started literally like getting what I wanted. Stuff was going my way. So that kind of kept like going to it. So mm-hmm. when, and like another obsession that I have with was, is the Joker. Everybody knows. Right. Everybody, th- everyone, everybody sees the Joker now. Like they think, they, of, view, they think yeah, of me. So scary, and right. I like, y'all don't know how happy like that shit. <laughs> but, um, so it's like when you watch, so it was the dark night that really started it. The Joker, it was just like, like shit he said was like for real like right. if you're good at something never do it for free it's like wait that shit is so simple that but shit hits. well what like if you really think about it <laughs> it's like damn all right <laughs> they say oh why didn't you kill the batman or why don't you kill the batman if you're good at something don't do it for free i'm like true and that's exactly what i do now like oh go dj here or for this and it's like like I'm too good. Like yeah, I'm not too. Not, not that I'm too good. It's like like I, I, I know what I deserve. Right. Yeah. I know my worth. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. I know your I know worth. Ozone sent it. Like you yeah, gotta yeah. know. Like you gotta know your worth. So it was like once, uh, like when he came out, when the Joker came out and Dark Knight came out, it was just like, and like I, like you could relate to a villain more. And it's not yeah. like when I say like I'm a nigga with the villain. No, like you're a mean person. Like it's like no. It's like when you think about it, villains like they really just. Try to take over because they know they got it in them to take yeah. take the shit yeah. over. Like there's most, a super, yeah, most villains start off yeah. as good people. Yeah, think think about it. <laughs> no, I'm dead ass. Most villains like it takes that you either die a hero, no, I live didn't. long enough to see yourself become the villain. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bucks. It, it, that should be your drop. That's Batman's drop. Is it Batman? It's a Batman. It's a Batman. Oh well. It's a song. But yeah, so it's it's not about like being a mean person. It's just a vil- me as a villain, me as a villain. Shout so double. Oh, you sent me that beat. You was chopping mm-hmm. on <laughs> <laughs> Being a villain isn't about being a bad person. It's just be- being yourself. It's just about like just being yourself and not caring like who who's around or telling you what to do. Like villain is just just being you. Yeah. And that's why, like, I wanted to start. Like, I started the brand with the hats. I got Winter Scullies coming out. Right. And, yeah. You trying got to, a black one? Trying to push. I had the black one, but I only had, like, two left. And I had, I like, have to swap it I out. Had, like, no pun intended. Robert just went. <laughs> <laughs> I had, uh, swap it out. I had like, yeah. six, like, six white, white ones. ones. Uh, so where where sure. can we get those at? Yeah, where can we get those? You really, really got to hit me up. <laughs> Sign the DMs at DJ Enigma. You got t shirts too, don't you? I have to make more. So you got t shirts, you got hats, you got I scully. Can, I, can, I, I want to make everything. Don't like, you, you have wristbands? I don't have wristbands. Uh, you've never? Never had wristbands. Maybe it was a dream. Probably. Give me an idea now. Not sure. <laughs> He's rocking the movies wristbands. That's probably what you're You got to get the little Robert DJ and the, the villain wristbands, yeah. B. I literally have like a lot of stuff in my head, like villain stuff to push out. Because like I did, I finally like on a contact with somebody I trust. Uh, yeah. Um, Diana, shout out Diana. She's the one who did these hats and they really like, these aren't cheap hats. You know yeah, what I'm saying? No, these, these are, are really good legit, quality. These, these are, are good legit quality. hats. 
So it's like I finally found somebody I could trust who, because like I really wanted like joggers and yeah. like I want to have like a whole villain fit, like meet with designers to draw something up. So like I have a lot of like stuff in it uh, in my head because I want to have like because I went to I went to Complex Con this year, and it was just like vendors clothes like Chicago stuff. And it's like yeah. man, like I feel like villains would go a long way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's true. His sister works at Complex. It's true. Shout out Reef sister. Yeah. So yeah, I went to Complex kind of like I said, we did Chicago vendors and it's like I feel like villains clothing or villains brand would be like super dope like in Chicago. Like, and, like sure. so that's where it's you wanna launch what's 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 your plan for twenty twenty? More merch. More merch. More money, <laughs> always. Mm-hmm. Um, and I always, I wanted to, I want to make a single. You want to produce? I want, not produce. Well, I want to learn how to produce, but it really, like, it really is like a whole different craft. Yeah. Than, but you want to actually DJ be a feature in? Yeah. X, Y, and Z. Yeah, like, I, like, like DJ Khaled, like, like a DJ Khaled. Yeah, yeah. like be, be like on the side. Like this is how I want the beat to go. Uh, and, have this, and have somebody make it. have somebody make it, yeah. Like, I have... So then you probably would be, like, an executive producer. Something. And then you have somebody... That's that's what they do. So yeah. the executive probably producer, he's the one who, like, touches up the sound on what the producer's making. Yeah, so it's like... So I already have, like... I have a lot of artists in my head that... Who you want to I, I know, Yeah, that are, that are totally down. They're no, like, up-and-coming artists. Like, I have artists who yeah. are down, like, that people know of already. That is, a, I'll just, like, just say the word and they'll go in the studio and do it because I literally, like, I literally, I get along with everybody. Like, even though, like, I'm an asshole to people, yeah. I literally, I have, I don't have any beef and I don't have problems with anybody. Yeah. And a lot of people really, like, fuck with me because of, because of that. Real recognize real. Ex- exactly. You fuck with DJ and then like this podcast. There you go. <laughs> Subscribe. Right now. Follow, follow, <laughs> run it back. Follow me. There you go. Put run it back down, PC. I don't know. Put it in this DJ and then with Dr. Villain. I'll put that right there. Bing. Look at all. So that's my plans for, for 2020. More money, more, more merch. More money, more merch. And yeah. I'm trying to ask you this question about 20 music? minutes ago. Should I get back? But about 20 minutes ago, I was going to ask you this question. What? You, you trying to get into any movies? You trying to get into any action? <laughs> like, we talking long term, bro. Uh, like, is that something you see down the line? Oh, no, you did just buy a house. Congratulations. I did. Shout out Percy, yeah, the I'm realtor. <laughs> Shout out Percy, the realtor. Congratulations. <laughs> so that, that was a move, not 2019 can't move. Brush over that. Yeah, yeah, we cannot brush over that. That's, that's, that's 2019 move. move that you guys were able to do. We did. 2020, bigger and better things, and more money. All bigger and better. All, yeah. the, all that, and all that was really just um, uh, around the time before I had the idea. It was like, I guess you could say, like I was kind of down. Like I didn't know what to do. Mm-hmm. And um, it was just like, like looking, like I got, I have to do something for myself. Yeah. Like I need, I need my own space. I need to just have something to clear my mind. And like I didn't want to rent because I want to make some noise. Like yeah, <laughs> especially yeah. if I if I want to produce, it's like yeah. I want my own space and like I want to do my own thing. You know, studio. Like, yeah, all that. all that. So I was like, man, like what can I do? So it was just my like, <laughs> I checked I check my, my accounts and Everything. my credit, yeah, and I was just yeah, like, yeah. Like, the way my, 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 my bank account was set up. up. <laughs> the way my finances were set up. I, was, yeah. we can do this. I, I, said, I said, fine, like, Percy, what's up? Like, yeah. send me the list. One take P. And he sent me, he showed me two, but the first one I already saw, so that didn't really count oh. for Percy. Oh, okay. Technically, we did that twice. Right, because it, it didn't count for it. It didn't right. count because somebody else showed me that house. Right, right, true. So, so right, I already saw it. And right, I'm just like, eh, we can still look at it. Right. So, the first house, Percy showed us. I said, "Fuck it, let me get this house." <laughs> it, was in, it. it was in a good area. Everything was good. Nah, that's dope. Uh, bought it. Everything went through. Uh, <laughs> did uh, like kind of tore it down to have my space and yeah. and build it up, build it back up a little bit in the basement to how, have it the way I wanted it, and. And uh, like I said, it was just a blessing to have right now because now uh, 
Which is not only it's cold. Yeah, it's, <laughs> and it's like not only not only did I like get my space, I was able to to get my parents yeah. their own space. Yeah. Because like I'm I'm one person, like I don't need anything big. So that's yeah. why I took the basement and then I gave my parents the whole upstairs Stairs. to themselves. So it's like it feels good like like I, we still have a mortgage to pay, but it's like my mom doesn't have to pay so much money or pay someone else. It's not you're paying rent; she's paying rent. And you know right? What I'm yeah. yeah. So like she don't have to pay somebody else, yeah. like to 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 do all that. So it's like it was just it was just a blessing all the way around. It was a headache, but I mean, in the, in the long run, right. it, it felt good. Yeah. Back to your question about movies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, at the rate you're going, bro, like season season six, episode six season. of Empire. You guys could catch me on that. Oh, that's right. You heard it this time. Oh. You see what I'm saying? Heard it. Ain't out of prediction too, my nigga. Prediction P. Hey. So, I think that episode came out uh, about a month ago. About a month ago. So you could catch it on Hulu. So you so you've already Hulu. done some yeah. of the acting shit. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to Raji P. Did, did I ever tell you my first acting kid? Did I ever tell you? <laughs> Did I ever? This is dead ass serious. Take a sip, my nigga. Hold on. Take Should a I sip. Should I cut to the sponsor right now, Should I cut to the sponsor? <laughs> Shout out Big Chiefs. Uh, our sponsor is Ontario, California. My boys down there. We taking a trip real soon. Link 2020. We got a lot of more big shit coming to you. Shout out. Uh, I, are we naming it Bobby's? <laughs> yeah. Bobby's. You don't look out for Bobby's. Look out Bobby's. for Bobby's. Just, just that's it. Just Bobby's. <laughs> So tell us about your your. Friend. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I was in a commercial, right? For like you Pepsi. Know, it was you. No, fuck. <laughs> Pepsi. <laughs> no, so I did like like television, like Univision, like the Spanish, whatever. So my mom was in politics at the time. My grandma was like fucking with the aldermen and you know like doing yeah. all the politics shit. So they tell us like, hey man, we need some kids and like a family to do a commercial in the park district. So we go to this park district. I don't know nothing they're telling me because it's straight Spanish. Uh, like I'm like nine years old. Uh, so you're probably like four years removed from Spanish. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm already don't even know what they're talking about. They just kept telling me, John C and you keep tackling each other, chasing each other, <laughs> pretend like you're running around, blah, blah blah. My sister, she's just sitting there, and then my mom and my dad are just like like a picnic. Yeah. And we're just running around and they're like, all right, do it one more time. And I've never seen the commercial. But I was in a commercial. Did you never watch I tried you to YouTube it a hundred times. <laughs> never watched you never watch That's why. Right. I didn't get paid, though. It was a favor. I'm sure my mom got paid. <laughs> yeah. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't, ain't, no, ain't no bag for you, baby. Yeah, ain't no bag. Y'all yeah. nine. Did you yeah. ever get paid off training day? <laughs> oh my god oh I ain't gonna lie I am in an upcoming show yo you know who he's talking about the little boy from training this <laughs> yeah. post a picture in this slide post a picture I swear to god side by side. hey I found this nigga right well so I was telling people there was this kid I was convinced that it was me like I was convinced it was me nigga like the kid looked just like me I'm watching this movie like the fuck did I do this shit? <laughs> I find him on Facebook. We're the same age. MySpace. MySpace. My bad. Yeah. MySpace. We're the same age. This nigga's wearing a North Carolina jersey in like the bas- the, the bathroom, yeah. right? Yeah. And I had the black and blue yeah. one. <laughs> I had the blue and white one. I had a little curl. I said, this nigga is my long lost brother, bro. <laughs> like dead ass. This is doppelganger from Earth 3. <laughs> oh, flash fan. <laughs> Flash, flash fans. That's but no, I, and I am, um, I am in this uh, Netflix series coming out later. I don't, I actually don't know if it came out, but it's called Mixtape, and it featured, uh, I forgot her name, but uh, Channing Tatum's ex girlfriend. If you look, like, if you see her face, you know, know, you know who she is. She's been in so many movies, but I am like, I'm not DJing, but I'm in there too. You can see me in the background too. Remember you in the Sickle Mom music video? I was in the Sickle Mom music video. <laughs> <laughs> I was there too. I was there. I was trying to get in it, but I wasn't, I wasn't dressed to it. You seen that? Uh, <laughs> the, you seen the episode? The episode of Fresh I wasn't Prince. Dressed to it, Prince. Episode of Fresh Prince when they're shooting the music video in his crib. Yeah, no, he's, yeah, he's trying to. He's trying to get in. It. And that was Asia. <laughs> that was me. They like man. This time, man. He's like, I was just trying to go upstairs. What was you doing? No, I, was, I was trying to be in the video. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Nah. Uh, so you, you brought up mixtape. Yeah. So I'm riding, <laughs> I'm riding with my mom yesterday, right? Uh-huh. And 
My sister's old. Rest in peace, next day. <laughs> Rest in peace, mixed it. Rest in peace, mixed Rest in peace, that chair. <laughs> so I'm, some super glue, man. I'm riding with my mom, right? And uh, she, t- my sister told her about the show. She showed her uh, the pilot a couple times, right, on YouTube. Your mom? Yeah. So my mom's fucking with the show. Yeah. And uh, she goes, "Did y'all talk about your car?" <laughs> you, know, you know you and Adrian need to talk about the car. <laughs> Yo, I love Big State. Big that, State that's awesome. when y'all put me on the Isley Brothers. And yeah. Like, yeah. He was yeah. a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was it. Yeah. That Every was girl it. that was in that car, no. Nope. Yes. Every girl yeah, in that car. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that sounded bad. <laughs> But every girl that was in that car knows that song. Yeah, and I knew that. I mean, yeah. I'm not a girl, but, but, but y'all put me on Nazi, brothers. Yeah, with, with they that. know about the, the front seat that had the not. They yeah, had a front seat. We had the we had the you dig right here. We had yeah. his mom's CD. The gear yeah. shifts right here. Yeah. We had one CD, nigga. Body Kiss, Nazi <laughs> Brothers. Uh-huh. I don't know what track it was, but Superstar, like track number seven. Oh, I thought that was number one. Y'all always jump to the I was always jump to the number one. I thought that was number one. We had two CDs. Be, we had Drake's um, first mixtape. Yeah. Uh, so Far Gone. So, so, uh, we had So Far Gone. So, yeah. yeah. And we had... He was a Drake uh, fan. OVO. Shout out OVO. Shout out OVO. Yeah, but we... Um, That's the goal, too. Oh, yeah. facts. Yeah, That's, That's right. a long term or 2020, so, five years. Let, so, let me ask you this again. Do you want to tour? Do you want to be another artist DJ again? Would you do that? Uh, I know you got presented with the idea to do it before. I wouldn't. You wouldn't? I wouldn't. Not even if the money right? Um, it would need to be some real money. Yeah, it would need to be some real money. <laughs> really, some shit. It would really do, like, because um, I, I just feel like like I, ser- I kind of, like, passed that already. Because it's like now, sure. now it's not about the artist no more. Like, I really, like... Not to be like selfish or, or cocky, you're, you're, but it's like, I like artist. to be. Yeah, yeah, I like to. I like for it to be about me because you, y'all talked about it with with J, with Jake. Yeah, this track number one. No, uh, see, <laughs> I, like, I like to talk about or Jake. You talked about it where it's like the, these producers and DJs are getting signed as artists. Are, yeah, also. signed as yeah. artists. But it's like I have like no love lost like towards any artists and like I said, being being a part of OVO is like. Probably like one of my like biggest goals mm-hmm. to be in, like not be like Drake's DJ, because like or just be, yeah, to the, be yeah, part yeah, of the yeah. team. Because it like like I'm sure OVO is probably a management company. It's a it is. it's a yeah, bunch being of Drake's DJ doesn't make you OVO it though, right? Not necessarily. You have to get like signed. But I'm saying like you, really you have, have to be well, signed. Yeah, yeah. You would, you yeah, want to be OVO. Even the weekend was OVO. Drake. Right. He was with Drake all the time. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But you want to be OVO. You want to be OVO. More than Drake's DJ, right? Is what you're or saying. would you yeah. be Drake's? I would be Drake's DJ. Okay, right. Right. Yeah. You wouldn't want to be Drake's but, DJ. Yeah. No, so so between this, the two, you probably get ten thousand a show. Right. So <laughs> so so this is the thing. Like so, I I've met Drake. Like mm-hmm. me and Drake had conversation before, and so this was last year when he had a show here. Uh, one of my homies, who's a DJ in New York, DJ Spade, shout out DJ Spade. That's like my home. Like yeah. I can call him up right now like I'm headed to New York. If he's even in New York because this, this man travels the world. Yeah. But I could hit him up like, yo, what's up? Whatever. So they were in town and I don't know, for some reason, I'm, a, I'm the one that Spade always hits up. Hey, we need some girls over here. Like, yeah. I know you know the girls. I'll send all the girls our way. So there was one of those conversations again when he was in Chicago. So you got the girls. Now you got to. Get the curls. No, you got the girls. Now you gotta go to get both demographics. This guy. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> <cool>. <laughs> <laughs> got soft and everything. Bobby right. plans. Uh, Bobby plans. Uh, Bobby, Bobby plans. Bobby plans. Bobby plans. A, 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 life, <laughs> a life advisor. <laughs> a life coach. Life coach. Bobby plans. <laughs> I'm talking getting money, man. He gotta get all demographics in all the <laughs> that's, that's, that's a behind the scenes. Yeah, we're gonna keep that off air, Monday. That's a behind the scenes conversation. That's all I said. Alright, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you was thinking, but uh, so, so Drake really white vanish. So <laughs> Yo. So Drake so Drake had his show here and like Spade had that conversation with me. I was like, I got you. I was like, cool. He was like, Oh, you want you wanna come to the concert? And it's like, I don't like concerts. I don't wanna go to concerts unless I'm and I I, there's two things I said. I'm not going to go to a Drake concert or to Vegas unless I'm a part of it. That's, yeah, I, I don't do the big crowds too much. I just yeah, yeah. I don't like I don't like concerts either. But that was like 
I'll go to some concerts if it's really like I've been doing that's coming up. Like, I'll go to an Ivan Duda concert. But like I said, like Drake, a Drake concert and going to Vegas, those two things like I wouldn't do unless I'm I'm DJing or, or like I'm a part of. So you wouldn't go to Vegas? To to plan like it's bachelor a party? party? Nope. Not a bachelor party, but just like nope, not guys trip? Nope. Why? Because I want the first time I want to go there. Will, oh, your first time you want to go there. The first time I want to go there will be to work. work? Okay. So, um, so yeah, so all right, plan, whatever. So <laughs> then, um, I say go to twice. So yeah, he hits me up. Uh, he was like, "Oh, well, we're gonna do the after party at this place." Then uh, one of my homies, uh, David Play, who's the manager at the club, they're having it. He goes, "Yo, like everybody knows, like." A hundred percent that. But you can't be Drake. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, he hits me up. Hey, Drake's having it here in open for him. I was like, all right, cool. So, and I, I told Spade, I was like, yo, I'm DJing the after party. He goes, oh, bet. Like, I'll see you there. So I'm like, cool. So I get there and the club's, the club's not Super that big. Packed, I know. So it's packed, 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 packed. <laughs> Super packed. Like, I, well, I, said somebody gave him said, 80 bands? How long he was there? Hey, 50 minutes? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> know. Bands, I don't know. know. I don't want to start rumors. Yeah, how much they paid him? You know, nigga. But they paid him a lot. 100 bands for like an hour. He said it in his song. He got it in his song. Talk your shit. They paid him a lot. They paid him a lot. They paid him a lot. 50 bands. 100 bands. Fuck it, man. Yeah, fair. Let's not even discuss it, man. All right. So, uh. Let's not even discuss it, man. So, yeah. So, he has that. He he comes to the he comes to the to the club. He, it was at Cuvée. I right? I think like they were even charging like a hundred dollars just to get in at the door, just to get in bottles. Were, two bottles, two bottles, two bottles, two bottles were probably a thousand or two thousand each. Yeah, right? yeah. Everything was ace of spades. Yeah, yeah. Facts. yeah. yeah. Spades out there. Yeah. So yeah. we ain't no Hennessy section over there. Yeah. So uh, no section. <laughs> so no the broke section over there. there. It's one big section. It's yeah, it's one square. It's a square. You been to Cuvée? I used to, yeah. I used to oh, play. I think I did see there one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. The I think I did see him there one time. I forgot. I forgot. I did see him there. I think I did see him there like one time. Like yeah, literally, it was I'm one time. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. 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 Shout out Reef in the building. <laughs> so, uh, so he he uh, he's in his section and it was blocked off, and my guy Spade sees me. He's like, oh, like. Come in, like come to the section. And it's literally it's him and Drake. Yeah. He's like, oh, like come here, like you good. Yeah. Security like clears the way. I go through. He doesn't introduce me. Yeah. Like a movie. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't. Like a movie. But, but, but that's not that's not where I met him at. So. You slipped. <laughs> so, uh, so we're in the section. Smoking dog on Drake. Smoking, smoking. So, excuse me, I'm a nigga. <laughs> so we get in the we get in the section, and like I don't I don't say nothing to him. Like I'm not I don't get uh, starstruck. Starstruck. Yeah, yeah, I don't get starstruck. So um, I got starstruck one time. <laughs> yeah. I just fuck with Who's your seat? I think I feel like I don't know who this is. Skylar Diggins. Like, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, oh, God. God. This God. was at, uh, this was at, uh, 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 Time. My birthday, wasn't it? Time. Wasn't that my birthday? Yes. Yeah, it was. My it was boyfriend time. was wearing the same fit as me. Yes. Like, same, I swear And you were God. with Eli. We were Eli, said, yeah. And you were like, I'll bet you I don't talk to Eli. I know you wanted to yeah. try to. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. I tried. I tried. It was that time. She, I remember She looked at me and I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I tried to like, say hi to her. Because I knew who you are. You're, yeah, you're a WMA player. Yeah, yeah. And she literally grabbed my hand. Like, she snatched the wig. Uh, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, I was going to say, hey, hi, Skylar Diggins. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I first when I seen her, me and Eli, me and Eli are looking like, like, me and, like, me I and like Eli. you. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Bro, I, follow, I, too. I followed her since high school. Then yeah, we went to U of I, she went to Indiana. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so Notre Dame. Yeah, Notre Dame. Yeah. So she was she she came from Indiana. Yeah. Notre Dame was in Indiana. Yeah, yeah. She won two state titles. I was on Scott yeah. Diggins <laughs> going up in high school. Yeah. So I went to go try to grab her hand, like to say hi to her, and she like smacked my hand. <laughs> oh damn! What the I fuck? talked to her coach a couple times. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> coach Murphy? Is it Murphy? I don't know. I don't my know. bad. So go back to DJ Walks. Go back to DJ Walks. Yeah. So I get in the section, whatever. He says what he has to say, and then my guy is like, uh, "Like my uh, spade was like, yeah, we're going. 
uh, to the next spot, chill. It's called Blind Dragon. Never heard of this shit. It's okay. called Blind Dragon. So um was like, yeah, I said Blind Dragon, never heard of it, but it was around the corner. So I was like, all right, cool. Like, I'll, I mean, you want me to chill with y'all? Cool. Yeah. We, got, we go outside. There's literally like four Uber uh, tracks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just big ass Tahoes and Escalades. We get in there, drive around the corner. We get inside Blind Dragon, and it's literally like, there's, there's a decent amount of people in there, and Drake's just casually walking around. Yeah. I was like, oh. It's okay. my time. Okay. It's not, not it was my time. It was just like, oh, like, this, people were smoking. Like, yeah. it was literally, like, just, like, some chill stuff. There's somebody DJ. I don't know who it was, but it was literally just, like, a chill vibe. Like, 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 like if you would have, like, a house party or something. Yeah. It was literally just chill. So, uh, uh, Blind Dragon, there's... It's a blind dragon. It's a karaoke spot, but uh, not like outside. They have private rooms where you could do karaoke with your with your friends. So uh, uh, Drake goes in. Somebody had like got McDonald's, and for him, and then goes in one of the rooms. And Spade goes in the room. Spade comes back out. He's like, he's like, yo. I was like, he was like, come on. I was like, I was like, what? And the rooms aren't that. The rooms aren't big. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what? He was like, he was like, bro, come on. I was like. Oh, I. Right. So yeah, like, you don't want to feel like you just like yeah, that I'm stepping over people. Right. Yeah, yeah. He was like, bro, oh, come on. Here. Yeah, he was like, bro, come on. I was like, oh, all right. So I walk in. So I was like, Nigga, this is Drake. Drake, <laughs> this is Nigga. And I was like, I, I, in my inside, I was like, oh, <laughs> <that's it>. <laughs> 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 right. So, right. So I was like, I was like, man, I was like, man, you ain't gotta introduce him. Like, yeah. I was like, I was like, I was just like letting you know, like, was I was like, I hundred percent like fuck with you and who you are or whatever. And like, he was just asking me like, what I do, and and Spade was like, yo, like he's one of like the top DJs in like in Chicago. Yeah. And Drake was like, oh, he was like, oh, like he was like, oh, that's dope. Like, like keep working, like, and I'm sure like we'll run each other, run into each other again, like yeah. at some point. And I was like. I like that. Oh, I, yeah. I probably like got, there's probably like nothing out of it. Maybe he says that to other people, yeah, like who yeah. knows? But I was like, oh. Yeah, he could say I think he meant to. You know, cool. he could say that to everybody and still, if you it's motiv- it was still see, motivating. If you see you at the top. If you, you see you at the top, then like, oh yeah, right. yeah. And like at the yeah. time, like it was just it's like, hard. it was literally like a motivating point of me to even like go harder. And um, exactly. I literally like walked Like nigga, you're going to see me. We're going to run into each other. I'm going to let you have your moment, but I got a question. That is a little, a little funny. Uh, which Drake did you get? Did you get like Champagne oh, Poppy? Did Champagne you get... Poppy? <laughs> <laughs> or did you get? <laughs> did you get like big Canadian accent nah, Drake? Or did you get just the like. The grassy Drake? Did you get the grassy Drake, Champagne Poppy? Or did you get. Which one's like. What concert was he doing? This is when he came here last year. The one where he did with with oh, me, this with was, the most this, recent one with this, with the Migos, oh, and he had the Lambo, is, and he had the Lambo. This, oh, this, this, this is Drake Worldwide. Yeah, this yeah. is this is biggest yeah. artist in the world. Yeah, this, 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 last year. This is, this is like yeah, this is last year. Word, word. What I'm saying is like Drake. Drake be having different accents. Oh, so like, nah. Drake got his thick Canadian he accent. Shit, like, he got his like talking to white America accent. All right, I got, you know what I'm saying? I gotta put it to rest. I gotta defend this man on this one, just for this, right? Yeah. Because when you're Canadian, you got like Jamaican influence. Right, like, and that's my next one. Is it? Is it? So is or right? my next, my third one was was. Or did you get like Jamaican Drake? Uh, I got like, like he was, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> hey, I, I'll play the songs and the interviews. He be, he be going. Real thing, real thing, eh? It's the real thing, eh? He be going into different, into different accents. And, uh, if you, I, I've been to the UK. If you've been to the UK, and you hear them motherfuckers talk. You kind of want to start talking. Like, yeah, like, right? it off. It me. does. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Why? <laughs> And it's Canadian crazy, or especially from people from Toronto, they, they really say ting. Yeah, ting. No, yeah, ting. They really say yeah, ting, ting, ting is a, a thing, thing for them. Yeah. Anywhere there's palm trees, they say ting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no palm trees in Toronto. There's a palm tree ting. Oh, palm trees in Toronto, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere there's palm trees. What the hell? Ting. <laughs> so, so Toronto know. used to be on the equator. <laughs> 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 uh, I ain't gonna fuck with you no more, <laughs> I don't know what Drake I got, but he was, 
Like inspiring. It was, it was inspiring. Motivated. It was just like he was. He was tired. You could tell he was tired because this was like four or five in the morning. Right. Uh, and he, you could tell he was tired. And it was just like a oh, like a chill. Like, right. Nice to meet you. Like yeah. was super chill. He wasn't. He didn't have like no emotion. It was like hey, what's up? But like then even still, it's like just to exchange words. It was. It was just pretty dope. So too. it wasn't big smile Drake. Nah. Okay. It was I like, got what's you. Up, my nigga? Big yeah. smile Drake is what's white up? American like, Drake. Up, bro, chill, bro, what's chill. Up? Yeah, like. What's yeah, up? got you. The head nod. Yeah. Rapper Drake, you got. It. Yeah. Uh. All right. I don't, okay. I think I lied. One time I got starstruck, <laughs> just like you. Yeah. When I met Cassie. Cassie. Oh, I should say Cassidy. No, Cassie. Hey, Cassie, like. Yeah. Uh, like Cassie. Cassie, like Cassie. Uh, but she was kind of, kind of feeling the kid, wasn't she? I do have a video. Hey, she was touching the kid. Video, the she video, the video, <laughs> touching up on you me. Missed your window of opportunity. I did. Cause P Diddy was fucking up. I did. Now she pregnant by a whole nother nigga. He ain't. P Diddy sick. She could have been pregnant by a whole like, nother enigma. enigma. Oh man. True. Exactly. No, but that, that's that, an enigma we we want a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that that one was pretty dope too. It was just uh, uh, it was at the same it was at the same club. She was hosting it, and uh, uh, my boy uh, uh, Chris, uh, shout out Chris Three Deep. He's uh, Ciroc, one of the Ciroc reps, liquor reps. Like he's like literally side by side with Diddy. Yeah. Uh, he was up. He's up there. Uh, Ciroc was sponsoring it, of course. Cassie was there. Same thing in the section. Uh, I say what's up to Chris, and he was like, he was like, oh, like you want to be Cassie? I was like, I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you sure you want me to be Cassie? <laughs> so he was like, yeah. So I went out for, I went for a handshake. Like he said, oh, like this is Nigma. I went for a handshake, and she came for a hug, and I was like. Oh, I like hugs. Oh, I was, I was like, right. oh, okay. I was, she was like, she was like, oh, like, weren't you just DJing? I was like, yeah. She goes, oh, like, you're so dope. Uh, she was like, you're so dope. I fucked with your vibe, blah, blah, blah. Then, like, after the club, I'm still thinking of that juvenile thing. Like, I don't want to ask somebody for a picture. Yeah, yeah. But she just seemed so cool. I was like, yo, like, can I get a video with you? Yeah. And she was like, yeah. So I literally, like, like you could go on my Instagram. It's on, it's on uh, my highlights on my Instagram. I think that's the only highlight. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the only time I have my highlight on Instagram. And I was just like, yo, we in the club, my girl Cassie, and she like grabbed me. And I think that was probably like the only time like I was like, oh, because yeah. yeah, it was it was like it's your celebrity. It was one it's one of my celebrity crushes. Yeah, yeah. it's almost like, like how do you not get starstruck? Yeah. Celebrity crush. Yeah, and like I said, like I I met like a lot of people. Um, one time. Uh, I hit up uh, Jeremiah to come hoop with us. Oh, that's right. I remember. I, remember. <laughs> I hit up Jeremiah, like like my homie that uh, that is is in his little entourage called me like yo like he's like what you on like we're bored and like he had me on speaker and I was like uh, I was like man like we're over here we're hooping he was like oh like up north I was like yeah it's in the city and then Jeremiah was like yo we coming and I was like oh. <laughs> uh, I didn't even know who it was. Yeah. He was like, "Yo, we coming?" And I was like, "Who's that?" He was like, "Oh, that's J that's Cooley J." Like, he called him Cooley J. Uh, he was like, "Oh, that like, Cooley J." I was like Cooley J. He's like, "Yeah, I'm with Jeremiah right now." I was like, "Oh," I was like, "Well, shit, come." Yeah. So well, literally, like, I didn't think they were gonna come. And literally, like Jeremiah came, and um, trash, or he could get buckets. He was decent. I think uh, I think he was playing like he didn't want to get hurt. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. <laughs> yeah, so he was playing. Ain't doing too know. much. Yeah, and I wasn't doing. Yeah, wasn't doing too. <laughs> you heard him. We know. We know. <laughs> so yeah. I play like that. <laughs> he came. He came. He hooped, and um, and it was it was really a dope vibe. Like, and it was it was cool. Uh, <laughs> so it was just funny because that's when that's when planes came out. With, with J. Cole. Yeah, yeah. Like the song just came out. It was number one. Mm -hmm. It was so funny. As soon as he comes in, I didn't tell nobody he was coming. Yeah. As soon as he comes in, like somebody noticed him and we would play with a speaker. They start playing. And they started playing planes. Like, nigga, we're hooping. Why the hell? We're playing planes when we're hooping. First of all, that's just like shit is like embarrassing. Like, change that shit. Yeah, y'all doing too much. Right. Right Other than that, like, he was, that was like the only, uh, thing that happened but it was it was a dope vibe for for him to come through like i said like i i feel like blessed that i i have the kind of relationships with the with the people i've met like other djs and and other artists well and, connected and, to the yeah and, and stuff like that like and it's not not just like in the music well, industry yeah. like i've met uh like uh like sophia body is one of my like closest friends that was on a 
I it's on a Love, Love and Hip Hop. Love and Hip Hop. Trying to get on the show. You didn't uh, get starstruck when you met CM Punk? I see CM Punk all the time. Yeah, no, he does. He does. He does. He does. He don't like niggas. I see CM Punk all the time. Go ask him for a picture. He gonna muff your ass. He's back on wrestling. So he is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's definitely like, moving around yeah. now. Oh, I see okay. CM Punk all the time. I mean, like the first time you just like, oh shit, Punk. Yeah, I dig as him a wrestling little fan. As a, I was, I dig him a little depth because I already knew uh, how he is on wrestling is just like how I or just like how he is yeah. in person, like yeah. how he's straight like to himself. And I, honestly, like that's uh, where I kind of got like uh, no filter, like yeah. I I talk my shit, like right. type of thing was because of CM Punk. And again, a Chicago person for yeah. sure. He raps, he raps hard for Chicago. He really does. His thing, no, his, his like a fucking Trunks outfit. outfit. There you go. He's Trunks. like his no, trunk. Yeah. No, his, his attire is the Chicago like crunch. <laughs> his underwear, his boxers have let, the Chicago. Let, let me flag. ask you this: What's your biggest pet peeve when you're DJing? Ask me for a quest. That's like your biggest. I, biggest. I feel like that's everyone's biggest. biggest don't pepper. talk to me. Just don't, don't talk, talk to me. <laughs> if I don't know you, don't talk to me. Yeah, I feel you. Like I'm doing. Like I know I tell them now. Now I've been saying when people come up to request, I literally stop. I turn. I look at them. I was like, where where, where you work at? Let's yeah. say wherever they work at. Like, do I go to your job and bother you and, and tell you how to do it? Yeah. No. I didn't know tell me how to do my job. Yeah. And then they'll be like, oh, like you're just an, you know, oh, you're an asshole, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I'm not going to play the one song for, for you, you when there's 200 people in the club yeah. and I got to do whatever like you want me to do. I was like, are you not having a good time? Yeah. Okay, then, then that's all the fucking matter. Fuck <laughs> alone. If you're coming with 500, then it's a different conversation. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're going to pay me that much, <laughs> shit, I'll play that shit next. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, pause. Sorry, that was a malfunction. <laughs> Excuse shout me. Shout out my homie, right? No, right? Shout out my homie. Right? You, <laughs> you know, my homie's Stop birthday it. right here. Shout out to him, man. Like, um, if you pay me, like, whatever, like, yeah, I'll pay. And it's literally like, if it's five hundred, yeah, you will give me twenty dollars, fifty dollars. Like, I'm not. You're here it. tonight. Eventually, yeah, you know, eventually, eventually you know, if I have it, I say if I have it. Right, yeah. because <laughs> I, I literally say like if I have it, yeah. This, I literally just the other day. Um, I did an event at Tao and somebody paid me for uh, for a song and I didn't have it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like that phone, the phone. I was <laughs> like, no, like I ain't, if I tell them I don't have it, I don't have it. And I, I really don't even remember what it was. But I just remember I didn't have it. And uh, I she the, the girl had slipped it in my back pocket. And I was like, what the hell? So I had took it out or I was like oh okay cool and then she was like oh like are you ever gonna play my song he was like if not like I can have my money back so I was like yeah, here, here you go. go I think it was like a 20 and I was like oh here you go like I don't care I'm really <laughs> gonna care like if you take the money yeah. so do you two part do you have an idea of what song comes after the other never so it's, it's, it's five <laughs> it's five, like, yeah, so, five. yeah people Second. always ask me like yeah. You prepare for your sets. I never know. Nah. Nah. Second part. If you already know, I'm about to play Nuck If You Buck. And somebody comes and asks for Nuck If You Buck. I, I Nuck If You already. Buck going to the back. Yeah, I ain't playing it again. Unless they slip me that five. No, I'm saying. <laughs> not, if, if, if you you mixing and you got Nuck If You Buck cute. Uh-huh. And somebody's like, hey, play Nuck If You Buck. Uh-huh. Based on like you got that, 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 old, that vibe going, just, going out with I just give them the... Like, I already got you. Yeah, yeah, I already got you. I got you. Put the 20. <laughs> <laughs> Put the, hey, my back hey, is open. Hey, my back is open. Put the 20. Hey, go holler at, at uh, Bobby Page. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, ne- I really, I never prepare for my sets. Like, everything I DJ, it's a feeling. A feeling and what kind of party it is. Because, right. like, I literally do, I had, there's times I have to play all Spanish, all hip hop, mix all it top up. Top 40. Top 40, EDM. Mm-hmm. So it's like I really I know, I know what I'm walking into. People, people don't realize how many times a DJ DJs. So when they go up to you and ask that one question, it's like I've heard this question probably like 30 times this week. Like I don't want to hear it again. And then they're just like, "Oh, you're so mean." But it's like, no, pretty much. Like, <laughs> like no, I'm not I'm mean. I'm at just... work and I'm annoyed with my job. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> people think like, "Oh, like it's a DJ, you live the life," and it's like I'm 
DJing is stressful. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, it really is stressful. Like, especially, like, when you're traveling a lot and, like, you're tired and you're really exhausted and you have people sending you music. You have people trying to get your attention. Yeah. Um, you don't get home till four, five, six in the morning because you probably eat after. Right. <laughs> and, and then, like, if you, like, sometimes part day parties start at, like, 12. So, yeah. so you only get, like, three, four hours of sleep. Yeah. Or sometimes don't even sleep at all. So your inbox is flooded with rappers, DJs, Man. producers. I, I will say this. I, I, will, I will say this. Like the last couple of years, even you know, going on to now, the grind. Like yeah. he would be like DJ, go straight out of the club. New Year's Eve, go straight to work, <laughs> bro. Like legit, go <laughs> straight to sleep, work. Right. Get out of I not sleep. Now. He still does it. That's what I'm saying. For the last couple of years, his grind. His only days have been off is Sunday, Monday. And that's if I'm not doing a, and I still and work. that's and that's like not summer Sunday and right. Monday I, and Mondays I still I football still, games or whatever right, bars still, and, yeah. you know what I'm saying Monday night football and Sundays if I'm not brunching oh cameras done yeah we're done <laughs> cool. die Video done. oh videos done yeah, yeah we almost done oh, okay. we ain't got to stop recording but the video oh. is done so. no but we're so, still yeah oh yeah so Mondays yeah. you grinding yeah, every day yeah no yeah, I yeah, work so. every day. Yeah. yeah, and um, and my inbox is flooded with all this stuff, and it's like I get annoyed, and <laughs> some of the stuff I don't even want to listen to. Yeah, like people send you music. Chicago, Chicago. He, bro, he hates Chicago music. <laughs> okay, he so, put, before he, before, right. he brought this up. <laughs> Let's clean that no, up. No, no, no. No, I, yeah. I know what you mean though. You can, I, you I, can, I understand what he means. I understand both. Like, I can't, it's I, not. I hate Chicago, Chicago music. music. I hate the box. The box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The there you yeah. go. Yeah, the box of Chicago music. So it's like. So we so we kind of briefly talked about this, like in 2012 to 2014, 15, Chicago was it like you know before that Atlanta had its time. Yeah, now Atlanta's the most popular. Atlanta's right, right. No, no, but it's like that's before, when you had yeah, yeah, yeah you before, had uh -huh. y Young Bloods, yeah, yeah. Little John. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah before yeah. that was Atlanta. Then like after that was New York, maybe I would say, or East Coast yeah, type East stuff. Coast, and yeah, between yeah. like 2000, like seven, 2010, maybe. But well, you still had Lil Wayne, you had Drake, you had. But those are like the mainstream. Big, I'm yeah, talking about just. Like, oh, okay, okay. For our, okay, yeah. upcoming, yeah, yeah. For what, what topic? Yeah. Uh, so then, what's hot? So then, 2012, whatever. That was still Chicago stuff. You had, like I said, King Louis, Katie Got Bands, so, Sickle Mob, Chief. So, like, are, do you the drill stuff? Do you not fuck with the the time that Chicago's music? No, in right at that now? time I no, did. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. That was a good time for Chicago music. Right. I'm saying right now it's time in Chicago's music. Do you not fuck with where people are at in Chicago's music right now? It's because they still think they could do the same stuff that from people 20, did. From 2020. From 20, right. Okay, yeah. So, because, like, yeah, you got to yeah. think about it. Like, think about the people who are big from Chicago. Of course, Keith and Dirk, because they started that. Yeah. But it's like, now, you got Chance, Chance. different sound. Yeah. Kanye, different sound. Juice World, different, rest in peace. Rest like, in peace. Completely Juice World was my sound. dude. Yeah. Juice World, different sound. Uh, Polo G. Different. It's different. It was it's different. mix. It's, it's a mix. It's right. a mix. I'll say it's a and, mix. And it, but it's different. Versatile. Yeah, different. But, but it's different. Yeah. Uh, common. Different. Yeah. Uh, what else from Twister. 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 Different. 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 Stuff, right. It's yeah. like that stuff is different. Now, everybody's still trying to do the drill stuff and talk about the same thing. Like, I could get a song from Chicago. I already know what the fuck's it about. It's about the guns. It's about the violence. It's about fucking hoes. And it's like, yo, like, we don't want to hear that shit all the damn time. About throwing money in the club? Yeah, don't, yeah, spending money in bottles, bitches, like, whatever. Like, no, we don't want to hear that stuff. Like, so you don't fuck with my song? <laughs> <laughs> you don't fuck with my song? Hold on, B, you don't fuck with my song, B? We're going to have to pause this shit. Like, like, my song is a Chicago hit. All right. <laughs> like stay tuned. Right? Like all that is like it's it's all the same. Yeah, it me. is. It is. And it's, sure. and it's like it's not that I hate it. It's just like I've been hearing it since 2012, and people still trying to have me listen to it. It's like, like what are you bringing to the game? Yeah, like I'm not gonna listen to it. And that's the whole, and that's the whole reason why I even agreed to be uh, Sickle Mob's DJ because it was different. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. hard. Yeah, it it was. wasn't talking about fucking hoes. Like it was literally about having fun and the yeah, beats were party, different. The sound yeah. was different. Their voices were different. And that's the whole reason why I agreed to be with Sickle Mob at the time because it was different. And fit your, not, lack of a better word, agenda. Like you were yeah, a fit, different dude. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. And they were a different artist. Right. And uh, it was, it was a good feeling to be a part of something, of something new. Right. Damn, we've been up here for two, oh. two hours. No way. 
it was the long. It's one thirty. This nigga told us this probably gonna be he the said, shortest. I got, I got twenty five minutes for you. <laughs> <laughs> he said this is gonna be the shortest podcast. Teach you with the breakfast up. I gotta get a flight. <laughs> I do. I got work. Three. It, it's one thirty. I got a, my alarm is set for four thirty. Yeah, we both got like a twenty five minute my drive shit. and. <laughs> Turn that bitch off. Yeah, I canceled my shit. I'm not waking up early bitch, tomorrow. Like me, right you know. I got yeah. a shower and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, and on that note, yeah, yeah. Um, tell everybody where they can follow you. Follow um, you again. Um, basically, I really just use my Instagram only uh, at DJ Enigma dot the villain, and everything's like spelled out like that. DJ E N I G M A period T H E V I L A I N. Percy could put that <laughs> right there. DJ Enigma dot the, the villain, villain. <laughs> dot. This ain't the last time he's gonna be in the studio. I was about to so. say, you know, <laughs> this no. is definitely not the last time you're gonna be in the studio. And whoever's listening now, coat drive next week. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We spoke uh, about yeah. so coincidentally, we spoke about Blind Dragon next uh, Wednesday, December eighteenth. Uh, yeah, we are all actually hosting a the Running Back podcast. Myself, also with uh, my girl Vi with me. Love that pretty little thing right there. <laughs> um, we're we're hosting a coat drive uh, next Wednesday. December 18th at Blind Dragon. Uh, it's a $10 donation and all of it goes to uh, one warm coat, I want to say. Yeah, that's one warm one, coat. One warm coat, uh, $10 donation, and also bring coats as well, slightly used or new. And the donation comes with a shop. The do- oh, yeah. We, so the donation comes with a shop. Free so, shop. So you, you get, get a that. drinking ticket. Yeah, you get your little ticket. And the drinking side is by Stolen. Uh, stolen. Uh, liquors. Liquors, right? yeah. yep. Which is, I'm pretty sure you've seen it. They have like lighters and sweaters that say "stolen" on it. So it's it's we're aiming for a big event. So make sure you hit Everybody's coming out. us up, or we're not even on camera no more. No more. <laughs> <laughs> us up to to RSVP uh, for that. Shit. On that note, then we out. We out. We out. Peace.